All right, so look at this. That last Sister Wives video I posted, it was a, a watch with us. Uh, got a copyright claim against it, and they won't show it in the United States. So I have to make some adjustments. Apparently, TLC or Discovery Plus doesn't like it when you stream the entire episode, So, which I think makes sense. I thought it was okay because I was talking over it and there was a commentary, but apparently it's not. So I'm going to repost this, but I'm going to change the audio so that you actually have to watch the episode on Discovery or, or on TLC uh, along with this. This will be a watch companion, so you actually have to have both up. Um, so hopefully this works. If you, have a, if you can think of a better way to do this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Welcome back. We're going to watch together again. About a week ago, I got an offer on my house, but it fell through today as we're loading up the truck. So the house is back on the market and people are coming today to look at it. We're gonna load up everything, and then if we have time left, we will clean. So initially when I had the offer on my house, I had three weeks before the closing date. Okay, let's go do once over. So now I've gotta clean everything out so the house can be shown, but I'm not gonna be able to have enough room to take all of my stuff. I'm gonna to have to still come back. So we're just gonna put everything in the garage and leave it there and I'll be back in a couple of weeks, in a week or so, whatever, to come and get the rest of my stuff. What have you, you, huh? It is a beautiful view. Oh gosh, today's a great day too. Most of the local family gathered together to say goodbye to Christine last night. She's a it was extremely awkward. Bye Christine, good luck. Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Okay, safe travels, we'll see ya. It was awkward and horrible. We'll see ya. Probably and made it unawkward. I, didn't get it, but it so you can hear me. I have no idea what to do with it. Christine doesn't want a relationship with me or my kids. I guess she disappears to a certain extent out of my life. If I happen to run into her when Trulie's over, just sort of stay out of her way. This one looks perfect. No one She's ever so wants dramatic. to leave the marriage. Yeah. And especially after, what, 27 years. It's a long time to be in a marriage and to be in a relationship with people. And I'm leaving broken hearts behind. And that's what's hard. Truly stressed today. She's very nervous. Moving's hard. And starting over is really hard. I know I'm moving her to better. I'm fully confident moving her to a better life. But she doesn't know that yet. It's really hard to be optimistic when a bomb just went off and blew up pretty much all of your hopes. The collateral damage will last for generations. As the news about Christine leaving has been more public and has spread, you know, more and more people know about it. It shocks me how mean people are. I think that's it. I think that's all we have left. These people, like, come at me and they're just like, why can't you be strong like Christine? Why don't you leave Cody? He's such a blah, 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 blah. Like the whole list of things that they say about Cody. It, it frustrates me because you know what? Christine has her own value regardless of Cody. I have my own value regardless of Cody. I have coffee. I don't know, nurse, do you know, what does that mean? Like she, She's saying that she thinks for herself, I think. But I think that, honestly, that is why Mary is so upset. It's because Christine's not willing to have the marriage that Mary has, and Mary is willing to have that. Like, literally, your husband says, like, I don't care, I don't love you, like... And it, I think, like, Mary doesn't know it i think she's jealous i think she's je i think i agree with her i think that mary is jealous i think that mary i think it makes mary feel like right because they're putting up with the same thing arguably mary has put up with worse because cody is so overt about not being in love with her but what i don't understand is so i think in, from that vantage point yes i think that she's she's angry because she's not doing what christine is doing i think it makes her look bad but i also think that there was a and in a couple episodes, I thought there was a part of her that was happy that Christine was getting out of the way because it, she was hoping that it would convince Cody that she was better, right? Like she's this. more dedicated. Yeah, I'm more dedicated. I'm the loyal one. 
man, there's part like I can't get I can't get a read on her. But then that comment, Christine has her own value outside of Cody. I have my own value outside of Cody. I don't understand. What does that mean? I have my own value outside of Cody. What does that mean in reference to people being mean over the fact that she's staying with Cody? I don't understand. What does she get? What is her? What's her? What's her, what's she saying to herself? Because I feel like what the audience is saying to her is, you have your own value outside, out, value outside of Cody. Go do your own thing, right? The, that's what the that's what the that's what the that's what the viewers are saying to her, is that this is a terrible environment for you to be in. You have you're valuable on your own. Go do it. Mm -hmm. But she's mad at the audience because she has her own. I don't much. Sure, I'm not sure I understand her view. Mm -hmm. Can I? Think? Well, I'm a little distracted right now because I'm wearing headphones. And you're not. I am wearing headphones. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I have coffee. Yes. Oh, I have coffee. coffee. Nice. I'll always be grateful to Janelle for how amazing she's been during all of this. She's been supportive of me leaving and me moving and leaving the family and changing the whole dynamic of the family. Thank you for everybody for coming on um, this Cheers. long distance. And thank you for helping me so much. Thank you for being <laughs> one of my best friends, you know. <laughs> thank you. And just to, totally. to new beginnings, right? New beginnings. To new beginnings. New beginnings. I see now without the sister wife piece, like where we're just two people with this shared life experience, we are, we're gonna be such great friends. I, I mean, we are. We're gonna be, and it's, that's gonna continue. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Okay, it's not, it's not goodbye. No, I'll see you in a week. Just see you, see you, see you, later. See you later. So not only is she supporting me, but she's helping me look forward to my next adventure. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better friend ever. Um, Christine is leaving. She looks so, so sad. Mm -hmm. I'm good until I think about it, so. It's not the end, it's just the end of a chapter. So, a big, big chapter, the end of the book, maybe. All of a sudden, my whole world looks different. So. Yeah, like we just, I don't think any of us know what goes on now. We're just gonna have to make it up. There's no pattern, there's no rules, there's no guidelines. So why do you think that, that it lands be? different no. than when Rob, because Robin said the same thing, right? Robin said, you're, we're, 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 we're losing the family. It's gonna have an impact for, gen I mean, she's pretty dramatic. It's gonna have an impact for generations upon generations. But Robin's crying, Janelle's crying. Why do you think it lands so differently when Janelle cries? Because well, it's so authentic. But how can how if I'm Robin and I'm hearing this critique from everybody, I'm going, why is my pain not authentic to people? What is she doing that makes it not authentic? Do you think? Um, like, why do you feel like it's not authentic? I think it's because it's not about Christine. It's about Robin's dream of having sister wives. Uh -huh. Whereas for Janelle, like this is this has been her sister wife, and her sister wife is now sister wife slash best friend slash probably a support in this marriage is now leaving, mm -hmm. and you know and, right. I mean, Christine like raised her kids. Janelle's Janelle's grieving the loss of Christine, mm -hmm. the breakup of her family with the because of the people. Whereas Robin's grieving the loss of her fantasy of. Wanting that. Wanting but she doesn't have right, right. She doesn't yeah. have it. She's not here bringing her coffee. She shows, I mean, by the way, just as a side note, world's worst parenting. Like, can you imagine that making the conscious decision? Yes, when the mother of my, when, the, my, when my other sister wife comes over, I am just going to ignore her as she drops off truly. truly. What a horrible way to. Well, I thought it was evident in, the, in that party yeah. that like, she didn't, I, I felt like her kids mirrored what she was doing, which was being standoffish and yes. angry versus 
yeah. um, showing love, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, for Robin, this is about, to me, this feels like this is a, for Robin, it is about her, what she, what she has lost. For Janelle, I, th I think this is about Christine, mm -hmm. missing Christine, loving Christine, right? It's not, for Robin, it's just all about what's right in front of her, her world being different. And I don't even understand Robin's anger. Like if you, I have no understanding. If you would never wish, like what she expects Mary to do. Like I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I wouldn't, my worst enemy, I wouldn't say, hey, I want you to sit in this relationship and be abused by a man just so I can have a dream of being a sister wife. Well, I have everything. I have the man's love. I have his time. I have his support. But you, you just go ahead and sit there alone by yourself and every day be told you're not lovable. Yeah. I would not wish that on yeah. someone I hated. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll be sleeping with the guy that's doing that. I mean, you're focused on the sleeping. I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's everything else. Yes. The sleeping part is hard for me. That's for dudes. That, and that's just hard for me to wrap my <laughs> mind around. Ending a chapter is really hard no matter what, you know. All right, lovelies. Let's go. That's Freya! it. I mean, next adventure. <laughs> Uh, you are the best therapy. We're gonna be neighbors. She's moving today. She's leaving, and I'm. There's a sense that I feel like I'm just, in a way, coping. And I really want to tell her I loved you. I loved you. Why did you betray me? I worked for this. And and that's almost just pathetic because she's leaving. She's done. And I've got to accept that, but I don't want it because it's breaking my heart. Why didn't you tell her you loved her? That's all everything she that wanted. I was feeling before. Wait, well, he didn't love her. I know, <laughs> but now he's saying he did. Yeah, he's full of it. I don't believe him or I don't believe him or Robin. This whole thing of I loved you. Why did you betray? You didn't. You 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 you, you told her you didn't. What did you expect? <laughs> you wouldn't hug her. You wouldn't hold her hand. You. He. I, to me, this is. An act. Yeah. That's the more the more I watch him, the more I think it's just he is playing the character of grieved husband. But I don't think he misses Christine. I think he's embarrassed. I think he knows it's going to be you know this is on TLC. I don't know. I'm not sure how he deals with the uh, the public out you know the the backlash he'll experience. But that's what he's worried about, not the loss of Christine. I think anyway. Everything that I was feeling before about being nervous, it's gone all of a sudden. This is what I was waiting for. This is what I was hoping for. Today, I get to be at home. It's late. It is super late. We're getting in kind of late, but Aspen's gonna meet us there. Aspen! Hi, Hi baby. <laughs> oh. I've been moving towards family and moving, and she's here and Gosh, it just feels so overwhelmingly amazing. I just made the right decision. You ready to go see our new house? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to me too. Truly has picked a bedroom and she likes it. It's helping Truly even be more okay. <laughs> this has been stressful. There's been a lot going on. Kind of excited for the new adventure. It will all be a lot of new though, that's the thing. I mean, she's spent like more than half of her life Perfect. with the family. Yeah. So. so how the relationship's gonna be different between the kids and the other moms and everything. Mm -hmm. Wait, who's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I was like nervous yeah. about that, like how the family changes. Cause it's definitely changed, it's totally different now. And then the masters, so this will be mine. En suite, you know what it's called, en suite? This is now my room and it's just mine. I get to decorate it how I want. I'm gonna buy new furniture for it exactly how I want. Oh, please, Mama, that's happening tonight. And it's just mine. Yeah, this is a great space. I'm only gonna have a queen size bed anyways. Well, it just represents everything, so I'm just excited to have it be my space alone for a while. Christine's house fell out of contract, so she said it was okay for me to come over here. I come over here and I fill up my water from her back tap. And then I take it and put it in my RV. Hey. Oh, hi, honey. I, I drove by it and drive by and I saw you were uh, 
<laughs> Tune water. Well, I saw you walk in just as I was pulling by. Hi. Hi. How's it going, sweetheart? To be completely honest, I do not like having to do so many tours, um, things that would be simpler in an apartment. I don't think we understood what we were getting into quite as well as we thought we did, but it's, it's, it's just one of those things that you have to do. So I was here yesterday and I saw Christine off and she, I just thought it'd be easier just to come over here. Well, her, her offer didn't go through on the house. Yeah, I, I, she, she said that. Mm. Why don't we buy it? We buy the house, we build on Coyote Pass, you move into that house, we rent this house. That's the plan with Robin's house. I just, my heart, I want a house. I'm ready to be settled in my own house. Yeah, but we're a year from that, even if we start building right away. Yeah, I just, but Cody, I don't think I can do both. I, I can't afford both house mortgages. I can't buy this house and in any shape or form finance another house, no matter even if it's small. Like, I, I just can't. I don't know why we couldn't. Okay, all we got to do is get... I ta I, so I called Kelly today, because you and I have been all this, we just, like, we, our friends say this. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know well, what I mean? Well, what and he said it would be two years of renting this to somebody else. Oh, it's not a year. So Kelly is a mortgage professional here in town that we've used for a lot of our financing. And he said, you would have to rent it for two years before somebody would not count that mortgage towards your debt to income when you're trying to finance something else. And I don't want this house. I want to be out on the property. That's the whole reason I've been doing everything I've been doing. I want to be out there. I still think you're not being open-minded. Okay, Cody, I talked to Kelly. I know, he says two years, so what? I'm not gonna say it. It takes a it. whole year to build. No, I'm not gonna say Well, no, Cody, the problem is I wouldn't be able to build. I can't even get a construction loan if I buy this house. You know, if Janelle wouldn't have bought the RV, she could have been able to afford the mortgage on Christine's house. If we were able to pull out, pay off the land this year, then why wouldn't we be able to actually just fund your construction next year? No, God. It's so like, I, no, Cody, it's like everybody's lost sight of the reason that we moved here was to build out there. I, I know, but this is, I, uh, I'm, I'm not saying we're not building out there. I'm saying we're simply just, just buying an asset. No, this really, or he told that me it a, would be two years before I could apply, two years of rent. So where am I going to live for those two years that we're renting this? I'm just being creative and a little bit argumentative here with Janelle. But the whole point is, is I want to get her into a home. And Christine's house is here, available and easy. I can be built in a year. I just, I see that we just lack Does creativity he? here. Does I he understand what, like, what no, Kelly's I want, saying. I want to go forward wants. with this build. But, but I don't know I why we would research. not go for I can't afford both. And if I bought this, I can't afford the loan because it takes, the. Lo I won't get a loan because it takes two years of rent. Like, why is he not listening to her? He didn't do any research. I don't understand the, I don't know, but I think there's a reason. Okay, I think he's manipulative. I think I he's feel like he's manipulating her. Something, I, and I don't know what it is, but there is a. Con I, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if he buys that house if if he's able to. Um, you know, I, I think he's fearful of. Part of me feels like he's fearful of Janelle owning that property on Coyote Pass outright and it being hers, whereas this slows her down somehow. You know what I mean? It allows him to collect some money for the family or something. I wonder if there's some way, if he feels manip... The idea, I love like people that are like, oh, I'm just really creative with finances. Be a little, let's just be creative with your money. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Because the money bill. I'd have to put as a down payment on this would basically almost pay off the land. No, I'm, I'm, we can do both. I just, I don't think so. I'm the one who gets the taxes to the accountant. I see how the money was dispersed from the family account. And there was enough money outside of the debts and our daily expenses that was spent on other things. And I'm just saying, if we were prioritizing like we did when we bought other houses, we could pay off the land. You know, we've always worked together to take care of the whole family. We work together to buy Christine her house. We work together to take care of the kids. And I know right now we're in a position where we can't
pay off that property yet. Does she work? What is she? And doing? I know that that's got to be stressful and frustrating uh, for Janelle. I, she just walked it's frustrating to me as she well because you know, all I, I wanted to do so was get her butts out there on that property. Robin works, and they had it. It's interesting because Janelle has never discussed paying off Coyote What's Pass or the work on Coyote Pass with. Mary you or with Robin. I am more than willing I don't know. to put money in that direction, but we have to have it to do it. Cody, I just don't think so. I think it will slow me down, and once again, I'll be stuck in this a house that is not the one I want. If you're going to stay in an area, buying is always fiscally responsible if the market doesn't just crater. Now, the second reason I don't want her to rent is if we bought Christine's house, and then she builds on Coyote Pass. She moves to Coyote Pass. She's got a rental property. That becomes an asset. Never did Cody say, hey, honey, let's do this. It's a house for you. All Cody ever talked about was how much he was sad that he was losing this house that Christine had. He loved it. He didn't want to lose it. So it sort of felt yeah, like he was go. using me and my buying power to save this house that he loves. Like, I would be in this home that isn't really one of my favorite homes, yeah, and it would be where I would be forever, stuck. You're not thinking like an entrepreneur. Okay, You're seeing... I get all that, Cody, but I don't have a house. I well, want my we're... own house. I want my we're own house. We're moving into a rental because... For six months, because I don't want to stay out there in the winters. And I don't want to live in an RV. Well, that's fine. We don't have to. We can stay in town and rent. <sighs> Dude, you have a house. You go home and you live in the house with Robin. I have no house. We've been in Flagstaff for four freaking years, and I don't have a house still. Financially, at least up until fairly recently, our family's always kind of like worked together and just put whatever funds that we had where they needed to go. When I sold my house in Vegas, I gave my money that I made from that house to Robin so that she can buy her Robin house. When does it ever come back to anybody you know, else? Like, that's just what we've done. We've always worked together. But that's the thing, like, Robin, um, everyone works together. Yeah. Like, I feel like they don't really, like, there was a, a time when Mary, just herself, like, her house that, the, that she owns or whatever, is this huge five-bedroom house. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like Robin's get or not Robin, Janelle is getting screwed. It sounds like it. Yeah. But, yeah. I feel, I, just feel, I feel like Mary is in this. She's, she's, she's chose, she has to, everybody has to decide where they want to land on this thing, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like Mary has decided, I'm with Cody, I'm with Robin, and so she has to, it's just, it's like cognitive dissonance, right? She, she can't simultaneously choose them and stay in the family. She can't behave that way and then be uh, negative about Cody and Robin. Right, you can't, you can't, you can't believe one thing and act something else. And so, for her to, for her belief system to be in alignment with how she behaves, she has to be all in on everything is great and fine with Cody and Robin, despite the fact that she's just talking about. I mean, I don't, I can't have any example of when she's the one that's treated well. When Robin is she, giving to she her, she did buy the Parawan house. I don't know where she got the money for that. Oh, the, but that's the, that's the so business. That. Okay, maybe. So, but, but, so I, th I think she has, I'm, I'm just a little concerned that Janelle has no assets. Yeah, like I Mary like has two houses because she has the B&B, &B, which is like not part of the family. It's Mary's. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's not part of, Cody doesn't get money from that? I, I think it's just Mary's. Mar okay, Mary's so kind of a, I think she's high up in this multi-level marketing, La La Row, which is La La Rue, which is, um, it's clothing, but I think she's one of the top people. And oh. then, um, yeah. Jeez, you have a, you, you're on it. I am a fan of them, or I was. And like, I have no problem with the fact that I'm renting still. So. But there's no way. I, I understand. But there's you no think way. Think you can't do both. Pass. If there was, but there, there, years, there's a way. The pass, you're right. right? Just, there's a way, if there's a will, to do what yeah. I want. And in the meantime, I will be in my big house with Robin. There's a will. I've been pushing this house of Christine's onto Janelle for a long time, and Janelle's like, stop it. 
She doesn't want to buy Christine's house. She wants to build her own house. If she can't work with me to solve the problems, then she gets to solve the problems on her own. And the way she's going about it with buying the RV, with moving out there, with this whole charade, it's not working. Oh, it really is raining. He's not listening at all to the reasons that I can't do this or don't want to do this. It's almost like he just feels like if he keeps telling me and he's no, gonna he's steamroll really me and I'm gonna lay down and be like, okay, we'll do it. I'm not trying to force her into anything. Jesus. I'm trying Tell to have a really conversation. Have to She's gonna do whatever she wants. She always has. <laughs> <He's really pissed. laughs> she just does whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, do I worry about what the How I just do what I want? Yeah, I mean, you do do whatever you want. <laughs> There's, you do whatever you want. I yes. like Janelle. I do feel like she's the she, Janelle is the most similar. You are, I think, you're a combination of Janelle and Christine. Yeah. You. I I like both of them. Christine. Well, when Christine, um, in her not now. I mean, she's depressy and not as fun as she used to be. Obvious for obvious reasons. Uh -huh. But she used to be like really fun all the time. So, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And she wasn't as. I mean, to, in my mind, isn't Chanel more independent than Christine? Like, just like in aggregate, stylistically. I think she globally, more? she has been, and and she has she's like either the breadwinner for the family or or was in the past. I'm not mm. sure. And so, like, and takes care of the bills and the finances of the whole family, so she knows where everything's going. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. We're back, and just for fun, Truly's gonna spend the night in Janelle's RV, just so she can have a little bit of fun and spend some time with Janelle and Savannah. Thank you so much for letting me stay. Oh, I'm so excited you're here, True. I would love yeah. to just stay. Where's Christine staying in Flagstaff? Is she at a hotel? I don't know, but she's not going, this is, I mean, just imagine if you're Truly, truly right? You've moved away from your dad. You had this, I mean, horrific going away meeting. Dad said, I want to, you know, we're going to FaceTime, we're going to stay connected. And then you come back and, and then you're, you're with Janelle. I mean, it's just a, a, a wild negligence on Cody and Robin's part to me. And Christine's part, if she didn't let them know that they're back. Right? Home in Utah and settle. I was so excited about mm -hmm. moving and progressing and moving forward with life, but then I have to go back to Flagstaff. So I'm like, uh, we're just gonna keep moving forward. <sighs> what do you think? It's, it's like, great, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of different, huh? Kind of different. Yeah. I'm so glad to have Truly over. I think Truly is such a cool kid. <laughs> you can have these adult level conversations with her and you forget she's 11. It's just fun to have her over. Uh, yes, this is my first sleepover in the RP. We might do some stargazing. Um, <gasps> it, the stars are pretty great here. Um, and my mom is a huge astronomy nerd. I'm a sky watcher. I'm enthralled with it. I'm passionate about it. If I discovered a star, I would just call it my babies because it's my star. I can call whatever I want it. I have lots of babies in my world. Some of them are grown up, some of them are little, but I would just call it my babies. Short pants. This is what they are. So one thing that's been kind of fun about living out in the RV is we cook out all, often. We'll do um, hot dogs or hamburgers or like those little foil packet dinners or something. It, it's fun. She's it's so like it's like camping every night. Uh, <laughs> the cinnamon oh, cinnamon blow it out, blow it out. True, whoa. All right, can you eat them like that? Yep, I love she, it burnt. Oh, that's, okay. I put it directly in the flame on watch. purpose. So when I eat marshmallows, when I eat s'mores, I purposefully burn the marshmallow. It tastes burnt on the outside, but it's oh, overly <laughs> creamy on the inside. It tastes actually really good. Do you want chocolate graham crackers or the kind that are like the regular, but they have cinnamon on them? Um, I'll have the regular. Okay. I'm trying to show truly that it's cool to live out here. I even went and got some really fun sugary breakfast cereal, which I never keep. 
around because I wanted it to make it like this this amusement park experience where she's like, wow, we did some mores and I, I wanted her to be like, that was really fun. Aww. So I was like bending Sweet. over backwards to make it fun for her. We roasted marshmallows, we stargazed a little. We just had fun and like, it was like, okay, this is like the last time that I'll see you in a couple of months. So, so like. The house sold and um, the first buyers backed out. Just there were some electrical problems that I didn't know about. Anyway, we're getting the electrical problems fixed. We have another offer. It looks really solid now. And they want to close early as well. They came in asking at a great price. Everything was great. So I need to finish clearing everything out. It's exciting. Robin drove by yesterday and the kids rolled down the windows and, you know, waved and yelled and stuff. It was really cute. And I'm optimistic that everything will be fine, but I don't know. Things are really broken, more broken than ever right now. And Janelle and I are fine. Um, but that's a relationship that I really want to keep really, really solid and really, really strong. Every time I've come into town, I've seen her. We'll do coffee together in the morning and hang out for a little bit. And it's just easier. It's taken off the label of sister wife and we're just friends. But we're closer than friends because we've raised kids together. <laughs> I don't know if Janelle and I can be sister wife if we're not married to the same guy, you know? I don't know. Honestly, of all my, sis my sister wives, like the real sister wives, the ones who are all married to Cody, Christine was always kind of the heart of that relationship for me. I've struggled with Mary and we've worked for a lot of years to try to figure ourselves out. And uh -oh. Robin, there's a lot of problems, but Christine, truly is, in my head, the definition of a sister wife. You share a big portion of your life with, you have history with, you have oh. all these things, your support network for each other. So yeah, I think we're still sister wives. Are you interested in um, some sort of a, for a sec? Don't you like trying to work stuff out, Robin maybe are? from the past like, how many years? Everyone alludes to problems with Robin, but like, they never like go deep. I want them to go deep on the problems with Robin. like. What, is she what, do you, like? what do you imagine they are? Probably, I, I, I bet, I don't know. Like, I bet they all see her as, actually, I don't want to make assumptions, but I don't think her and I would. Wait, what were you going to say? Like, she seems, I think the problems stem from her, like, wanting more than the rest of them. Like, in fair share, fair share of time with Cody, mm -hmm. fair share of the family finances, like, mm -hmm. she just takes more of the family resources without putting in anything. Like, yeah. Christine didn't work, but she raised all the kids, you know? Mm -hmm. She never had a nanny. I, I, I mean, but those are just what I'm saying. I, I think, so let me, let me be Robin's defender. Let, just for like an intellectual activity, let's okay. imagine that we were gonna defend Robin. I do think that she was set up for failure in that she was brought in I mean, when she came in, I, don't, I mean, she was like, she's notably younger than the rest of the wives, right? She came in, she was Cody's new toy, comes in, and she has kids. She has, I think she had three kids with her, right? Pre, right she came in with three kids. Mm -hmm. Cody then adopted those three kids, and then they had two more together. Mm -hmm. Am I getting that right? Mm -hmm. Right? And so she, but those two younger kids were like eight years younger than the youngest other child. Right? Am I tracking that right? I think Truly is closer in age. Truly is 12. 11. 11. And I, so five years difference. Cause five years. Oh yeah, one six. But I just, I just think that, that J Mary, Janelle, and Christine went through war together, raising the family, right? They've, they've been through a lot together. And so they, they feel like a, sharing resources feels different to them because they've shared so much. And then you bring in this third party who's getting way more affection from Cody in an in a egregiously overt way. Well, not in just, and then he divorced Mary and then married Robin legally, not the other two. To be able to adopt the kids, right? That's the reason why? Yeah, I think, well, I don't know if you have to do that to adopt the kids, but I, I think it had to do with health insurance. So whatever, yeah. so she comes in and it's an immediate request to sacrifice money, it's sacrifice your relationship, 
then you see, I mean, see, so there she is set up as the villain of this whole thing. And it would, it, it would be Cody's job to help, you know, be really intentional about not doing that. And it would be Robin's job to go out of her way to be supportive to the other wives. Like the idea of just, in my opinion, living as close as she does to Christine and never visiting her, never putting into the relationship. I mean, I think that it's just, it's been years of Robin take, 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 take and not being support. But I think in Robin's mind, she doesn't see that. Robin's just thinking, I got these young kids, I need support, we're sister wives, so support me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that that's, I, to me, that's probably the disconnect is that she comes across as a little bit, uh, not a little bit, a lot selfish and, uh, you know, lack, lacking, lacking in, in perspective. Mm -hmm. That was my effort at defending her. That didn't really seem like a defense, did it? <laughs> I think for right now, I need space. Okay. For right now. I haven't spoken with Robin or Mary since we talked all together. And I think that my relationship with them is just going to stay like this. Where when we see each other, we'll be amiable and we'll be kind, but we won't seek each other out. I mean, things could change years later. I don't think that there's a lot of trust between all three of us at all. The house is just so empty and it's weird, surreal, hard, good, fun, exciting. Um, so exciting to just leave. I don't like to be here. I would prefer to be anywhere else because anywhere else I'm strong and independent and fun and fearless and can rise to any occasion and can do anything I want. But you put me back here and I'm a wife in a loveless marriage that was going nowhere. And I don't like to be that. So it's like um, a farewell to that too. You know, Janelle and I have been living, living in this RV together for a, <laughs> a while. It's been less than a picnic. So it's like, oh, we're just going to ignore the problems in the relationship. <laughs> Carpet. <laughs> What's the log? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm moving them out of Robin's backyard. Wow, that's a hookup. We've got a pile of logs that we've been salvaging. We'll um, peel it, uh, put it up dry, and hopefully it'll end up being a good log. What are you doing? Oh, I got the plans. You want to see them? So I, I actually, she sent them to me and I had them printed. All right, that's, that's awesome, yeah. We, we've got a, a drawing here, a drafted drawing of the house. Um, basically, this is what we would take to a builder to have them bid it. And we'd also be able to get a permit off, off of it, I think. I'm actually pretty I'm excited. Not, so there's more than one copy while. here, because we'll have to have multiple builders. Nobody looks good in a visor. N never does, either. I've never seen anybody that I thought, you know what, the visor's a good look on you. But especially if you have his hair, his hairline, if you're gonna wear a hat, cover the hair, right? Why? I would never wear a visor. It's like wearing a hat and then like, <laughs> I got a hat on him, by the way, I'm bald. That's what, he, it looks like this. Have you seen them online, they call him ramen noodle head? That's in my comments. <laughs> Look at it. So that's what we... That's just her rendering, right? Yeah, that's the bit, but the basic look, right? With the pointed roof, the way you wanted it or something? Yeah, with that's the called a gable end. Okay. Yeah. This house that I'm planning on building is only going to be 1,200 square feet, so it's small. So we had thought to make the roof pointed, like it'll feel more open. So it's going to have that one really big garage. It won't be big enough for this, but this is yeah. that has the pop out. So these are a little yeah. shorter. So that's gonna be a pretty nice sized garage. So the house I'm building is technically more like a casita, which means a small house. So I have a three bay garage and then the house is gonna be built up on top of it. It's an easy way to save building costs if you put it on top of your garage. So the master's 15 by, almost by 15 by 15. So that'll be big enough for our bed set. And then Savannah's room is a little smaller, but that's big enough for her. Yeah. The house I'm going to build is going to be a two bedroom. The only person who's still living at home with me is Savannah. And so I wanted to save the bulk of the space for the big great room, because that's where you spend most of your time anyway. So this has the existing lot lines. So I can build this 
on the existing, because I fit in with it with all the right setbacks. We're not, we won't build until we've done this subdivision. So we, our next move is to try and do the subdivision. This is typical Cody, like things aren't going awesome. Like it's been a hard summer. And now all of a sudden this is all my fault. It's all my problem. And I'm somehow inconveniencing him. It's astounding. It's astounding. We want to do the subdivision. The main reason is because we want to get a fifth lot out of this location. So in order for us to uh, divide the properties and get that fifth lot, we'd have to Why pay it off. Want a fifth lot? Then we were able to start it's building. Until then, we can't start building. Why can't well, they just then build? Well, things have changed. It. Things have changed. What are we going to do? We would just have to discuss that with the rest of the, you know, like with Mary and Robin. Yeah, because there's I mean, no longer five of us. Janelle might be wondering if we're still going to have five lots because Christine's left. And yes, we would because that's going to increase our value of the property by 20%. So we do need we to get together and talk about out. like what, what their land's gonna look like now, I guess. Yeah, we'll just gather everybody up to do that. But I, it's still, I, I'm, I want to divide it the same way. Okay. Same way we planned. Well, let's divide just talk. it the same way. You know, Cody is stuck on this five lots. He, even with Christine gone, there's four lots. We could make this work. I think he thinks he's some sort of guy who's gonna build all these houses, rent them, and that's great. That's great if he wants to. Just just give me my peace. I just want my peace. I want my estate. I so want to be able to build on just, my build a is house. She build a bigger this house has gotten later, kind of ridiculous because have... we don't. I think I think so. I think that's what she said is that she's gonna build. Do the casita now, it's easy to build, and then later on. Okay. But I agree with her. I'm not sure I, I understand why she can't build on her area now. And then they can divide the lots up later. They can di divide the other people's lots later. Yeah. Yeah. And I also don't understand, I mean, maybe there's a reason, but it's not laborious to create new new lots, right? That's just that's just paperwork. He has to just pay, it's the, it's, it's, he has to own the whole property to be able to do that, I think. Why? Well, you can't divide up something that's not yours. But how did they, di why were they able to divide it before? I, I think it was already to set up that way. Got it. Is my guess. Is my guess. I don't know. Have the money now. And I think it's an illusion that she's convincing herself of that he somehow if she now, but works her will, that we'll be... Makes no sense. It makes just no sense. Is he having oppositional defiance yes, disorder? Yes. <laughs> Successful. Yes, he is. That's I, I do just, think that's part of it. It's is just not. He's just not. tired of these wives thinking on them on their own, and so he's just like, whatever you think, you're not doing it because it wasn't my idea. I think he's it's not trying. Not my idea. This is back to the back to the patriarchy. Are you going to show these to Mary and Robin? Yeah. Or? Yeah. I mean, if they're interesting. If they're interested, they probably will be. That's cool. I live in a bureaucracy. Like we do everything by committee decision. It's the most frustrating part of my life. I honestly think it's just part of a plural family that chooses to work together. There are many plural families who, like the wives all maintain their own separate households. They're all very independent. The husband dis disperses his resources among his households. We chose a long time ago to work together and even though that's changed a little bit in the last six or seven years, everybody's really starting to think more about their estate and all that stuff, so we're separating. There's still very intertwined pieces of our lives that we have to work together on. In the very beginning, when our family came together, we built a family that said, these are our children. And as those older children started to grow up and leave, it stopped being our children. It started being my children and your children. So I've got Robin with, you know, no empty nest. Nobody's left home. And Janelle, almost everybody has left home. Christine, almost everybody has left home. We're in a very different place. It's not necessarily sinister, but the family's not working together anymore and hasn't for a very long time. You know, it's like, it doesn't really hurt for Janelle to go and spend the holidays with her kids. But what does that do for me? I've got little kids at home. It's an evolution in the family that has left me feeling alone in many ways and not supported by my wives. Yeah. Uh, is anyone else thinking about coming soon? 
they'll be interesting. Um, the kids don't. I don't come really home talk with Mary about it. You know? Anytime yeah. I bring it out, Mom she just seems it. really mm -hmm. wishy-washy about it. I don't know what she's thinking, what her intentions are, but she would be the most likely to start building next. And I want, I want that. I want her to feel like she can do that. You know, so she'll be partnering with us on, you know, what we want to accomplish out here, especially getting it paid off. But she's got to decide where she's going to build there. Yeah, so that's a conversation. That's the, really, that's the next step. There can be, we can't assume, so we just have to... Can't make any assumptions, so... So we just have to talk to them about where, what we're doing with the property now that we're, there's not pristine. Right. So since we started having all these conversations about the property, and I get that I was kind of undecided, like, for a while, like, do I want to be in the trees? Do I not want to be in the trees? You know, like, this was a big conversation. Um, but since we decided, like, where the property lines were all going to be, and, like, we knew who was going to be on each piece of property, I've been like, great, this is it. So I just rented a house. I didn't want to tie up the funds for when I could eventually build out on the property. So yeah, I got to keep moving forward. So we need to meet with everybody and figure out if everybody's good with the dividing still or... There's an element that I'm struggling with here. And uh, we've just gone through this entire COVID thing where I've been left feeling pretty disrespected. I'm not gonna break my back to work for you when you don't respect me. I'm just not. Janelle needs somebody who'll break their back Can to get this project done, say, and that's not me right now. I mean, he disrespects all of his wives, and like, how, like, he's not reciprocate, reciprocal in that. Like, I'm gonna force you to, I'm gonna force you into rules that don't make sense. I'm gonna judge, like, there's no data behind my rules, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from house to house and I get to keep my life, you know, even though, like... Yes, I agree with everything you're saying. He's so obnoxious, it's it's infuriating. This, this comment is so infuriating to me. Respect me because I have a penis. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's what he's saying. So he's not gonna break his back because, because you don't respect me, I'm not breaking my back for you. Yeah. Okay, can I play devil's advocate? Let me just play devil's well, advocate. Well, just so you know, she's gonna get it done without him. Yeah, I think she can get it and done. And then she's gonna respect him less. Yes. <laughs> I do think, I, do, I, I, I'm not saying he's, I'm not saying that he's right in feeling like he's dis, I'm, well, man, I think he, I think he has been, I think he is right in feeling disrespected. I think he earned that disrespect through his behavior, but I agree with him that he has been, I don't think that Janelle has respect for him. Christina had no respect for him. I think that uh, I think that Mary is deferential. I don't know how much respect she has, mm -hmm. right? And I do. Th I can tell you that if if I felt like you didn't respect me, we'd have a big problem. I I, I can I I I I can imagine as a husband if I, you don't think your partner respects you, I can imagine that it does lead to reduced efforts on your part to support that yeah. person. Well, I think it's a building you know? block of a marriage. Yeah. Like you gotta respect yeah. each other. Yeah. So I don't I think agree. it's, it's not, it's not crazy for him to feel that way. The part that's, that's not tethered with reality is his behavior, which has led to this lack of respect, mm -hmm. you know? Men don't feel love from women who don't respect them. I feel like Janelle struggles to respect me or show me respect. It might be an unfair statement. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that we argue. If, if you don't respect me, don't bother with the love. I it just doesn't work are, in my world. I don't know who this is, so don't hold, me to, don't hold me to it. But there is research. I'm not sure if there's research or there's just strong opinions and books written. But there are books written about how men need to feel respected and women want to feel loved. I think there's probably more research saying that everybody needs to feel loved, right? And that, and that everybody wants to feel respected. But I do think that by gender stereotypically, there is a, like for men, respect reads as love. Mm -hmm. I think some feel that way. And so for him, uh, I can imagine the last year has felt like, you know, no one respects him. He is, he has this huge family and every wife, except for Robin is unimpressed with who he is. And I can imagine for him, he's like, well then, 
yeah, there's gonna be less love shown. I can see that. Especially, by the way, if you are as ego-driven as he is. Like, he's not able to step away and go, like, I wonder why Janelle's feeling this way. For him, it just reads as, mm -hmm. you know, I, you're a failed man. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. So Cody's going to come help load the snowblower because it's just too heavy. I can't make it work. But that's it. I can load the rest of it just fine. So are you moving all of that stuff? Hopefully. That'd be great. On this trip? Order of importance, the snowblower, because I want the weight in the front of the thing. I, you know, I guess I can help her load the whole trailer. I don't know what else she's doing. Here's the thing, Christine, this, this weight, the, the weight of these items yeah. should go in front because that's all your organization. Right. When you're pulling a trailer, so. you want the weight in the front. If your weight is in the back, then it starts lifting in a way that'll start making the trailer rock on the road. The snowblower, though it's heavy, isn't condensed. It's, oh. you, you're not gonna have the same density as you will by putting all the boxes in front. So I think she should put the boxes in the front. I'm not sure the density is the... Well, he's saying that like the volume of boxes like will end up weighing more than the snowblower by itself. That makes okay. sense to me. Okay, okay, okay. If this is going in the last with just soft stuff around it, if but if it's going in the first, we don't pack around it. If these okay. boxes... So you don't mind helping me with everything then? Well, Loading up everything? I, I don't think you should put the snowblower in first. Let me... Okay. Oh my gosh, all I really need his help for is the snowblower. That's it. I want it in front, because then I'm done and he can go. That's why I keep on saying you're going to help me load all of it then trying to get him to be like, oh, I don't want to stay and help you load all of it. Let's put the snowblower in first, and then I'll go, that's a great idea. I mean, and go ahead. I, and I, I, will you actually, we never had a snowblower in Utah. And there was I know, but I have one now, and I love it. He doesn't need to be here micromanaging how I fill up this trailer with the last of my crap. So this is the deal. I can put the boxes in my car. I cannot put those in my car. More than anything, those are going with me this trip. They are. What? I wouldn't. I, I know I you would wouldn't. Cody, then, uh, I know. The... Thank you. I'm going to be in charge of this. I need those with me now. Because I can take all the boxes. I can take all the miscellaneous okay. stuff. I can take... No, I'm not saying right now, but I'm saying this trip. All right. Yeah, she doesn't want to listen to actually good advice, so I'm just going to cram it all in here. <clears throat> Let's just get this done. She's, she's proving that she's in the independent woman now by telling me how the best way to pack this is. It bothered me to the core. Okay, I would start packing boxes around these. I think it's super important to be independent as a plural wife. I did, and the guy's not around, the husband's not around. He has so many different places to be. The, the independent women around him. <laughs> And he created them. I do. Do you think that? Yeah. Did he? And I mean, just I mean, there. I mean, he must have been attracted to independent women too. When you think about it. I don't know. I can't part. This is like one of the things that I have. I have questions about is when they like. I haven't watched. Like I never. I didn't watch season one of this. Like, were was she as willing to push back and think independently when this whole thing started, or? Do you have somebody who, like I, just well, from a psychological she's, standpoint. She's always pushed back a little bit, even though she, she said she didn't like, cause she's the basement wife. Like they've been fighting for years because she pushes, she pushes back and Janelle pushes back. And I think Mary also pushes to get what she wants. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if Cody's mom was independent and maybe he's attracted to independent women, although he resents it. Yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I, Here's the thing, maybe this is gonna sound judgmental, but if you think about the, the experience of being a sister wife, couldn't you argue that psychologically people that are attracted to that must not be as independent? Mm -hmm. Stylistically, they want to be part of a group, right? She's, they, they, I remember them saying like early on in the season that she, would, she was like, I, I didn't want the man, I wanted the family. Like they want to be part of something bigger, and part of that is you are giving up independence. And so I wonder if, what I wonder if part of this is the impact of social media, the impact of 
TLC, the impact of extra resources, if she has learned to be more independent, you know, over the last 12 years, and now she's like, who the hell is this guy that's ordering me around? Yeah. You know? I can tell you that if I were Cody and I felt strongly, I mean, like it's easy to laugh at him, him being pissed about the independent women, but I, like I load our car. If we were going on a ski trip and I was like, I'm gonna load up the car, like I do all the Tetris typically, if you walked over and were like, no, 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 that's not, if you, I can imagine that we would have friction if we started, we could argue about how to load a car. Well, I mean, I know my limitations, so I defer to you on the Tetris, but I think you'd have friction with Linda. With your mom? Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. That's pretty true. Because <laughs> she also thinks she's a Tetris master. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I, by the way, I wouldn't challenge her. <laughs> I, I, and frankly, that's one of my favorite qualities about myself, that I can do things on my own. I think it's so empowering just to be able to get stuff done. <sighs> I need all those bags. Let's get anything soft so I can build up around these now. We, we've had arguments like this forever, but I was in charge. She's actually reversed the roles and she says, I don't care what you're saying, we're gonna do it this way. <laughs> and I'm like, <clears throat> I don't have to help you. Just let me get by you. Thank you. I'm struggling so much with this divorce. It's probably poisoning my relationship with Janelle a and little bit. It's definitely poisoning my relationship with Robin a little bit. He, he never talks about marriage. And I Mary. think that's yeah. partly because he doesn't stay I haven't house, figured he? out what I am when we're not this family. Like, this has been my purpose for so long. This is what I've done for so long. I'm I'm out of my frame and I'm out I of my purpose. He, does feel that way. he has lost his identity as a consequence of this, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm spiritually off course. I know that. I I am a mess, and I don't know what it's going to take to put me back on course. All right. Thank you for your help. See you. Thank you. Hey, a hug. <laughs> Come on. Just because I'm sweaty, I'm the one that did all the work. Come on. Wait, hey, you did not do it all. You, you did a lot. Oh my gosh, I think we've all learned a lesson today. I can stand up for myself and be strong and make a stand. And I can also <laughs> not ask him for help ever again. Both have been great decisions made today. All right, ladies. Have a good trip. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. This is the end of an era for our family and she's gone. She's done. And I've got all these mixed feelings because Truly's going, and that's a real disappointment. And I'm at this place where I can't tell if I'm just relieved that Christine's going or if I'm disappointed with it. She's called me a lot of things since this has happened. And I think she called me a coward once and I kind of went, yeah, I've been a little cowardly. Maybe I should have actually told her that I didn't like her. But what I didn't do was I didn't quit. vacillates between loving her and not liking her and like... Love you, bye-bye! It's hard for me because I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think like, like, you know, I've worked with couples that are getting divorced before. And this is like the feedback I've gotten on, on YouTube is like everybody thinks that it's supposed to be like, that he has to maintain his control and composure and that this is supposed to be amicable. And it, the reality is that when you get divorced, it's freaking contentious, typically. There's a lot of emotion. You do vacillate from being hurt to being angry to having contempt to be like his his emotional experience and him wanting like it's it is psychologically normal to to be to be dis to feel like you're being disrespected, abandoned, quit on, right? It's and then and then to think, well, I'm hurt. I want to hurt you back, right? And that's what he's experiencing. He's like, I, I want you to know. Like, I want you to feel bad because I feel bad. Mm -hmm. That is psychologically normal. So I, I feel like I have to say that because I think that if we all just look at it and go, oh, he's an a-hole, it's not like, put anybody through a divorce and they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna have the urge to lash out, mm -hmm. you know? Not saying it's right, but I think, yeah. you know, that's what, that's what that is.
once this anger settles, I hope I feel differently, but I hope it's not heartbreak. I just yeah. don't want to experience heartbreak here. Watch us next time. <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>